What's up guys, Gums and welcome back to Pro Cycling Mode of 2021 for yet another episode of our Pro Cyclist Career Mode, second episode of the Vuelta, second week of the Vuelta, first week, that sees us in second position of the Spanish Grand Tour. I believe we have one win on, um, on the Spanish Grand Tour, if you've missed the previous episode, then do go ahead and check it out. Uh, but today, we're going to have, I believe, stage 8 to probably stage 15, uh, or actually stage... Ah, well, we'll see, but we're going to start with Huesca, Sabina Nigo, then Viescas, Col de Tourmalet, Vittoria Gasteis, Villanueva de Valdegovia, Logroño, Alto de Moncavillo, Castello del Val, Aguera de Campo, Castro Urdiales, Suances, or Suances, and finally we'll wrap it up with Villa Vistiosa, Alto de la Farrapona, three mountain stages today, but it starts with a hilly one between Huesca and Sabina Nigo. Can we take the lead of this World Cup at the end of the stage? I don't know. The gap is 9 seconds between Matt Sakadere, Kataneo, sorry, and myself. I'm going to try my best. And we're going to start the episode with a plus 2 today. Brilliant. Um, not exactly a stage that suits me. Um, I mean, the final hill is about 20k from the summit. Um, so I don't think we'll be able to do anything on that end. Um, we P9 in the point classification. Maybe try to make a slight comeback towards that as well. Uh, because I've been quite... Um, I'll say underperforming on this Vuelta so far in the sprints. Uh, I know I've got 66. But I've been quite shit, so hopefully we can uh, we can change that going into um into today's episode. Well, in the second cloud of the day, the uh, Alto de Fanlo, we came back on every breakaway, um, which is good because it's going to allow us to uh, rest a bit. Acceleration by Einar Rubio. I uh, don't really know why, but why not? Um, one thing that I really don't like right now is that because Enrique Mas is considered as um as a co-leader, I can't really manage him. Um, and I mean, I, usually I wouldn't care. I'm just going to try and attack to get the mountain points. Uh, usually I wouldn't care, but he could be a crucial asset in like the latter portion of the Vuelta, and the Donny is clapped, he's killing his energy for nothing. I mean, he's got less energy than Clark, Vacek, and Lutsenko, and they've been pacing the entire day. So, yeah, I'm really not a fan of that. Also, I somehow managed to be in the breakaway. Final climb, Alto de Petralba, and it is uh, Ken Farmer for Vandana Bella. Probably for, uh, for Henry van der Nabel pacing. Uh, right, let's take a look at the end of, uh, of Matza Cataneo, shall we? Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, it's decent. It's, it's very decent. And sadly, as I suspected, because he's dropping energy for no reason, and like Mass is gone. Um, I'm not going to pace. Hopefully, he can come back, I guess. Two okay, to go. I'm going to use my gel. Um, I mean, there's no point sneaking or draining, do, doing anything at this point. Um, in my will is Formolo, Madua, Cezanne, Lucas Samson. We've got some, some decent riders. Uh, and, and then me, we're going to launch, I guess, 1.3k. Oh, it's way too far. Uh, we're done. We're done. Valentin Madouas. Valentin Madouas. Valentin Madouas. Wood Van Aert. Valentin Madouas. Valentin Madouas. Valentin Madouas. Valentin Madouas. Wins ahead of Wood Van Aert. And Garza Cortina is going to be a low top 10 finish for us, uh, either 10 or 11. It's actually going to be P9. It's going to be P9. And we're going to be on the way for the second mountain stage, I believe, on this Vuelta so far. And what a mountain stage it is, starting with the Alto de Portalet, then... The Col de Biscas will enter the territory of Guillaume which is France. And sadly, and sadly, sorry, and not sadly, um, the opposite actually, will finish on one of the most mythical climbs there is in France, a climb I have successfully climbed on tax. It is the Col de Tourmaret. Get in there. 13% of max radiant for 19 kilometers, an average of 5 of 7, sorry. It shall be fun. It's a plus 2 for us today, and hopefully, it's going to be plus 1 win. For myself, comes the end of the stage. All right, we started the um, the Col Dobisk. Uh, the gap for the breakaway is about seven minutes. Gap was five minutes uh, as we uh, we started the climb. So I'm gonna guess that uh, or well, the gap the gap increased. That's not exactly a guess, more than it is uh, an observation. Uh, so I'm gonna ask some of the guys to um, to go and relay at the front to try and um, well allow Yosef Serni to not pace. Um, I've taken a look at the GC and I realized that one of my biggest rivals would have been Simon Yates. He is 11 minutes behind, I don't know what happened to him. Landa to 14, Soler 145, Kemna to 17. Um, I think it's safe to say that my biggest rival for the GC right now is Mari van Sevenant. So, yeah, or Nielsen Paulus, who's just a minute down. I guess Wovonart could also be uh, considered as one of the, the favorites. So yeah, it's 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 odd. It definitely is odd. And we're gonna start the Col de Tourmalet. The gap is two minutes and ten seconds. Um, I believe right right now I am not only the best climber stat wise, 
um, and that's without race day condition. Uh, but even with race day condition, I feel like I'm the best. Um, so we're just we're just gonna gonna enjoy the race. Uh, you know, just vibe. Um, hopefully catch a breakaway. Enric Mas is in my wheel, so hopefully this time he doesn't die and do anything stupid. Uh, rather, he's actually gonna be able to help me. Uh, aha, uh -huh. I got kind of dropped. Well, dropped, I mean, but it's never took me. And should I sneak? Yeah, okay. Let's, let's use sneaking. Uh, it's not gonna allow Enric Mas to sneak. We should be good. Still one minute for the breakaway. Alone man, I think it's Hector Carretero. It is indeed. And the red jersey is dropped. The red jersey has been dropped. We've said goodbye to Mata Cataneo. We have said goodbye to Mata Cataneo. The leader of the Vuelta is gone. We move into virtually the leading position of this Vuelta with 5k to go in today's stage. 42 riders left in the uh, main peloton as Enric Mas is going to say goodbye to the peloton. So as one of the favorites for today's stage, that is Simon Yates, who definitely is not in any condition. 77 fitness for the Brit. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's not going to do anything. Uh, I'm actually going to reduce my rhythm because I am using way too much energy right now, and that's not good. Slow but short tempo, and it means that only seven riders are able to follow. Make that five as Lucas Hamilton and Mark Soler crack something else, or someone else, sorry, has said goodbye to that group. That would be Nielsen Paules. He was one of the potential favorites. Mikel Landaiser, Maduas, Michael Stara. Oh, Landa's gone. Landa is gone. Maduas, Michael Stara. Michael Stara is starting to wobble a bit. And it's going to be a French win, I think. Unless Michael Stora could create the upset and win today at the Tourmalet, he cannot. It's going to be a French W at the summit of the Col du Tourmalet. What a win for the leader of Quebec next stage. One of his final races with this team as Guillaume Watier takes the win at the Tourmalet and takes the red jersey of the Vuelta Fania. Domination. Um, I, I can't think of any other words. Any superlatives. To describe how strong of a performance today was, Michael Stara in P2 and Valentin Maros in P3 may be a, a, an indicative or an indication, sorry, that the start list on this Vuelta isn't exactly the one you'd expect from a Grand Tour. Michael, uh, sorry, Mikel in P5, Hamilton, Marcelin, Nielsen, Paris, Theo, Richie Port, and Davide Formolo to wrap up the top 10. Lenny Kemna is P13. He was one of the best, like, best riders you could find. Well, Van Aert, 222. What happened to Harry Van Seven? Of Marie Van Seven on dropped. Three minutes nearly today for the leader of the Conan Quick Step. Same for Seb Kost and Pavel Sivakov. Enric Mas comes up in P26. And the former leader in, um, in Mata Catano dropping seven minutes and two seconds. Meaning that GC-wise, we move into the leading position of this Vuelta. And it is a 1-2 for France. Myself ahead of Valentin Madras. Then a 1 or a 3-4 for Australia, I guess. With Michael Shara and Lucas Hamilton, respectively. The gap is already one and a half minute. And we're not even halfway through this Vuelta. And because a day such as this one cannot end on just a win, it is a second job for myself today as we do have a contract offer from the team we wanted to join. And France will have a hope of winning a Grand Tour in the next season as I will join Groupe MFDG to try and finally, finally win a Grand Tour for our home nation. Stage number 10 on the way and it is with a red jersey and a red bike that we're going to start this race. Brilliant. Lovely. Simply, simply lovely. Today's stage uh, is a typical stage as well from País Vasco, Victoria Castellis, Villanueva de Valdegoya. Um, it should be probably a sprint. Uh, a boring one, to say the least. Uh, but a sprint nonetheless. Oh, and the final climb, the Puerto de Orduña, and already some attack. Nielsen Paulus. I'm going to guess Valentin Madras potentially. Nope, that's just FDG uh, increasing the rhythm. No attack so far though from uh, the current runner of, of this Vuelta. Um, we're pacing, uh, we're, we're here, we're vibing. Um, some people wanted to see the new look at the Trek jersey, so here it is. Um, repped here by, uh, by Lenny Kemna, sorry. Um, if you want to see closer looks as well at the jerseys, you can obviously go to my Twitch where I stream my movie star career mode. Uh, it's a top tier career mode, we're currently on the Giro. Uh, and it's, it's fun. The next episode should be next week though, uh, because I'm gone from Wednesday onwards. Uh, so, yeah. And I haven't really paid attention, but because of my win on Tourmalet and the fact that I've taken a few KOM points here and there, um, I'm actually moving into the uh, or one of the best positions for the mountain classification now, because I'm seeing Hector Carretero and Georg Zimmermann going for moves. Um, I'll just pace so I can get P3, but um, we should be decent-ish. Wait, we've got 9 points on Hector Carretero come the end of, uh, of this stage. That's not bad. That's not bad. We got an attack here by uh, Hus, 
I'd be lying if I said I knew him. I uh, don't think I ever heard of the of the guy, uh, but he's he's going for a for a solo ride for the final five k of this stage between uh, reaching uh, Villanueva de Valdegovia. Sadly, sadly, he's gonna get caught. He's gonna get caught by Enric Mas as Valentin Malo goes for a move. What? Why? Valentin, you're like the second fastest man there is right now on this peloton. Why would you attack now? It doesn't really make sense, but he's gone. Valentin Malo is gone. And Valentin Maduas is not going to hold on this time. World Von Art wins ahead of Jonathan Arves. Actually, no, ahead of Chris Lotus, Jonathan Arves, and myself in P4. Okay. It's really hard to defeat World Von Art. It really is. It's an actual challenge. The Alto de Moncavio awaits the peloton right now. Uh, stage 11 of this World Tour. And a final climb with an average of 9.3, a max of 12, and um, that for about 8 kilometers. We only have a plus one today, but someone has a plus five, and that someone is Enric Mas, and that can be crucial for um, the, the, the way the stage goes for us. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we're going to have a good day. The breakaway has way too big a gap, so I've decided to put my entire team to 90 to try and uh, reel them in. Uh, we'll soon start the Alto de Moncalvio, about 7 kilometers until, um, until it begins. Uh, okay, maybe not 90, maybe 90 was a bit too much, maybe I'm a... Uh... No, not 68 either. For fuck's sake. Go solid 88 right now. But we're in a good position. Uh, Mass and Campanarts have lost no energy whatsoever during the entire stage. So that's good as Kalfrey Hagen attacks in the leading group. Will we have a Norwegian win on this World Tour? Uh, well, I mean, hopefully not. Uh, if we can have a French one from a rider with Kube Castle, that'd be great. Alright, it's time to go. It's, it's time to go. If I ever want a chance at uh, winning today, I need to uh, accelerate from the get-go. And it is exactly what we are going to do, pacing with Victor Campenart. So far, I'll, I'll have him uh, transcend himself for, for me. 9k to go. Only 7 right... Wait, what? Okay, now the peloton came back. Fair enough. Fair enough. 530 for the breakaway. Uh, we will not be catching the breakaway. We will not catch the breakaway because we've only gained 1 minute since the start of the climb. Um, I don't know who's leading, but um, it's probably a good rider. Enric Mas is going to take the relay of uh, Victor Campenarts for once. If Victor Campenarts uh, is going to die before Enric Mas. That's, that's great. Victor Campenarts has done a stellar job. Enric Mas is also doing quite well today. I I'll have to give it to him. Enric Mas is doing a very, very strong work today because there's only 25 riders left in the first group. 1k to go in the Alto de Moncalvio. There won't be many gaps. There actually won't be any gaps, most likely, as Damiano Caruso tries to attack. It's a win today at the um, Alto de Moncalvio for Aldemar Reyes for Astana Premier Tech ahead of Gino Meda. I don't know who's then um, going to arrive. It's going to be me. In the words of NSYNC, it's going to be me in P3. Uh, unless, unless Ituria holds on. Ituria might hold on, you know. Ituria might hold on. And across the line, it should be me. And it is me, P3 for myself, Mikel Ituria and P4 for Burgos Bache, Caruso and Rick Mas, Formolo, Ben O'Connor, Lenny Kemna, Wood Van Arp, Lucas Hamilton and Valentin Madouas to wrap up the uh, main peloton. We did not have the best of days, and yet we've managed to win time on most uh, riders, on everyone except Meda and Reyes and Ituria. I'd call that a, a successful day. I hadn't paid attention to the gaps because I thought it was just me and Ituria and then the group behind with Mas Caruso, but there was many gaps. There were many gaps, sorry, and Valentin Madouas. Didn't drop 20 seconds, he dropped a minute, meaning that he's still second, but 3 seconds, um, sorry, 23 seconds ahead of uh, Lucas Hamilton, but 2.35 down on me right now, in the words of Jeremiah. Okay. Okay. This Vuelta is opening up to be a, well, a potential win for me. Alright, final sprint uh, of the stage. 6k to go until the end. It's a crash for Brandon McNulty. Uh, he was fine at GC, so that is uh, no biggie for the leader of UAE. Bars. Uh, <laughs> 5k though. Simon Clark, Alex Lutsenko, Casper Pedersen, and myself is going to enter already with uh, Simon Clark. Is there a hill? There is a hill coming up, which is this one right here. Um, shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. I don't think it is. Indeed, it isn't. Perfect. Can I not? My keyboard. Thank you, keyboard. No? Should I go fuck myself? Oh yeah, I forgot that this is not that. Okay, yeah. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. We're good. Uh, I'm just quite stupid, but we've made it work. 
Lutsenko has started his effort. Kasper Pedersen in P2 is already a stage winner on this world title so far. We're going to try and launch for potentially a sprint. Can we hold on to Overnault? I swear to God, if I lose to this man again, but we don't, it's a win ahead of Overnault and Vaut and Vaut Garza Cortina. Ivan Garza Cortina. Vamos. Vamos. Come on. Finally, we defeat this Belgian man. Finally. Oh, this feels so sweet. Because for those who don't watch the movie Star Caramel on Twitch, Overnault has made me lose Gorvevel game, Ronde, Parobe, Amstel, Liege. Not Liege, just the four. Thank you out for making me come second every time. But now we finally got revenge. Uh, and it's, it's on a sprint stage with my pro cyclist. It cannot get sweeter. Penultimate stage, it is a hilly one. Uh, is it going to be back to back wins for us? I don't know. Um, but it is a hill finish. Uh, typically, the kind of finish that suits someone like Valentin Madouas or Old Van Hart. Uh, typically, the kind of finishes I usually lose to Old Van Hart. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, 177 kilometers, it should be quite safe. Uh, and thanks to the win yesterday, I've moved into the um, points jersey, meaning that I have every single jersey so far on this world tour, uh, with one more stage in today's episode, which will be a mountain one. I think we're quite safe um, to say that we'll have at least 75% of the jerseys come the end of the stage. Uh, don't ask me why the energy of my riders is, is that low. I literally have no idea. Not a single clue as to what happened there. Um, but we've got a couple of hills, a couple of, uh, of um, ups and downs until the final sprint in Thwances. We're in a good position, uh, hopefully. We can keep that good position going into the final sprint. 2.5k, we're all literally on the same line. And we all want the same thing we want to win in Swansea. I'm actually going to try and uh, maybe jump the sprint a bit. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The acceleration central in Wovonart, Narvez, and Valentin Madouas has uh, begun. And uh, well, we are going to lose the stage. Omar Freyle with the late comeback. But no, you know, we're not. Oh, Freyle? Freyle? Omar Freyle? Oh, yes! Yes! Wovonart! Yes! He celebrated and he lost! Thank you, Ma. That's my movie star career mode coming through again. And my standard one, mainly actually. Not movie star at all. Get in there! Come on! P6 for us today, but mainly it's, it's a P fucking loss for whether or not. Final stage of the day. It is a mountain stage between Villa Viciosa and the Alto de la Farrapona uh, 24k, average of 5%, a max of 12 uh, but mainly the, the final seven kilometers, why not seven, six kilometers, uh, they are very, very tough. And before that, we'll have some cr quite, quite powerful climbs with the Puerto de San Lorenzo, 10 kilometers, average of 8.5. Uh, and the Alto de la Cobertoria, 10 kilometers, average of 8.7. Uh, and with the names I'm seeing in the breakaway, um, Ben O'Connor is in the break. I've got Brandon McNulty, Haritz Carmona, Hector Caratero, Sasha Novikov, and David Formolo. We are going to have an incredible mountain stage but hopefully a win today i feel like the breakaway could potentially just edge it just like it did on um on stage 11 hopefully hopefully they don't but i'm not exactly confident i'm trying to um play this with uh, a focus on energy um management it's not good thanks for coming to my ted talk zach's kemna lucas hamilton valentamados as it's act, uh, I really don't want to pace because I'm on my own. Yeah, one pace. Okay. I know it's my job, but it isn't. And we came back on everyone. And I did not do anything. Isn't that glorious? I feel like it is. Look at the energy on my voice. Look at the energy on me. Um, I feel like this is where I need to try and attack. This is where. Nope, I'm going to get blocked by everyone. Brilliant. My voice goes again. Um, can I do something without being blocked? I feel like I'm not allowed to. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to let in your space. Have fun. We're in the tough portion now of the Alto de la Farrapona, and it's time for me to increase the rhythm. Actually, we're not even going to increase the rhythm. We're actually going to attack. We're going to attack. Aim is simple. Bridge with Kemna. Overtake Kemna. Use the gel. And go on a solo mission for five kilometers to try and win with panache as we'd say in france in france yeah in france at the alto de la farrapona uh, panache has been used it turns out that it that i may have slightly 
too much power for the rest of the peloton. Because this isn't a win. This is demolition. This is domination. This is someone on another planet. I am Tadej Pogacar, the rest of the peloton. Is the rest of the peloton. It's a win on stage 14 for myself. Coming into P2 will be a battle between Wout van Aert and Richie Fort. I mean, no offense to the Vuelta, but if Wout van Aert is second on pure pace, then your GT has fucked up. Win number three. Uh, for today's episode, win number four on this Vuelta, I believe. And the gaps are massive. The gaps are massive. I wanted to attack. I wanted to show the red jersey. I wanted to prove that I wasn't just going to stick in the wheels. Um, I think the Peterson probably wished I had done, though. Because 141 on World Van Aert, 151 on Richie Paul, and 244 on Lucas Hamilton, who's P4. GC-wise, World Van Aert is now second, 511 behind us. Mad was 540, I mean... I'd love to say that there's competition, but there isn't. And I'm not even playing it very hard anymore. I'm playing it very, very hard, which is even harder, as it's quite logical. We'll have seven more stages in this World Tour. For the next episode of the Spanish Grand Tour, we'll have the Angliru, we'll have a time trial, and then nothing really until the Alto de la Covadilla, and then Madrid. Um, we'll also play the um, European TT, Montreal, and actually probably the Worlds. Uh, well, actually, no, we'll just do well time and then we'll have one more episode related with the final three stages of our season. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you didn't, please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content in the coming days or weeks, do feel free to sub if you haven't done so already. But I will see you in the very next feature. My name is Game Afternoon. Hey, yeah. Pass me the phone, get your phone.